you came to get me to move to New York. Yes, I did. You're an up-and-coming artist, and I think New York would be the perfect place for you. No, I think so, too. I look forward to it. Well, this is great. I really do love your work. It's, it's so fresh and progressive. Most of the artists that I'm currently repping have this self-important tone. Do you still rep them? <laughs> Money's money. What do you say we discuss this further? How about dinner tomorrow night? Oh, dinner sounds great. You're not worried about me moving to New York and becoming like the rest of the artists you handle? It's a possibility. But what's life without a little risk? Nice to meet you. It was a pleasure. all the time and tell the guards we're flavoring the water. What are you doing? Girl, check it out. We get some sugar and add it with some other stuff, that and let it sit, and it kind of turns into hooch. You're joking. No, I mean, it's not the real stuff, but it mixes things up, you know? You want some? Absolutely not. Huh? What you do on the outside, Bougie? I work in fashion. I'm a designer. For real? Wait, girl. Oh, oh, I, I know you. Uh, uh, you're that Donatella chick, right? Shut up, trainees. What? How much money you got? They took all my money away when I got here. On the outside. Do you think I'm going to pay you protection money? She's quick. Mm-hmm. I'm not paying you anything. You can go to hell. That's your one warning. That was yours. Bring it on. You know what? You were right about these guys. I think these companies can keep us open without having to use Eddie or his money. Eddie's not gonna let us go. I'm sure if we just talk to him. You know what? Why don't you let me take you home? All right, we'll deal with this stuff later. Lance Miller. There you are. Where were you when I stopped by? A client meeting went long. That's too bad. Rodney and I had a nice talk, did he tell you? Yeah. Good. Listen, I need you to stop by the office and pick up some money and hide it through Gianni. Okay, I'll take care of that myself. No, Lance. I need both of you there. I don't want to have to teach you boys another lesson. Okay. Excellent. I will see you soon. Yeah. I knew pregnancy had its perks. I can handle bringing you juice, but if you think I'm gonna be on diaper duty, you're out of your mind. Oh, who are you fooling? You're gonna be all over that baby in an instant. Hello? Because you're late or because of your mother? What about my mother? 
Well, you didn't check your messages? No, I haven't checked them yet. William, that is why God invented voicemail. Okay, whatever. You know what, just, we'll talk about it when you get here. No, that's why I'm calling you, Nikki. I'm stuck on the 405. It's a parking lot pretending to be a freeway. William, you cannot miss this. Nikki, if I could get a helicopter to airlift me out, I would. Just go to the hospital. I'll be there as soon as I can. He's stuck in traffic. And don't you defend him. I, I wasn't going to. You know, I could go with you, if you wanted. Really? Why not? Okay. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Ray, I don't know what you did to this DA, but he has got it out for you. Why? I can't handle this. I'm not a common criminal. Do you know that this place is literally crawling with germs? My life is in danger. Maria, Eisner has some very incriminating evidence against you. I don't care what he has. I want out of this place. What if I catch something? You're not going to catch anything. Now, I can't get you out of here tonight. The judge considers you a flight risk, and he set bail at $2 million. That's insane. I know. Next thing you're going to tell me, I'm going to have to go back to that holding area until a cell opens up. Maria, this is LA County. It is not the movies. That open dorm room was your cell. I can't go back there. They'll kill me. You just calm down, OK? After your little fight back there, I convinced the judge that your current situation is not safe. It's not. Look what she did to me. I'm disfigured. I'm sorry. And that's why I've convinced him to put you in a private cell. But that doesn't change the fact that I'm not going to be able to get you out of here until we raise two million dollars. Okay, um, call Lance Miller. He'll work it out. I'm already in touch with him. And don't worry, I know Luke. He'll help get you out of here. That's just it, Clive. I'm afraid he might testify against me. Och lär man och barn klara sig själv. Ett experiment utan sidestycke. Då damen drog premiären på TV2 tisdag klockan 20. Oh, come on, Marie. You did a damn stupid thing with this money business, but Luke still loves you. He's your son. Clive, in the past few weeks. Luke has not only learned about the money, but also that Antonio Gianni is not his real father. What? Don't look at me like that. So who's his father? Charles Blakely. Charles Blakely? William Chandler's father. William Chandler. Don't ask. William told Luke everything. Not to mention that I drugged him. I, I don't even want to know what that's about. Look, I'm going to talk to Luke. And we're going to get you out of here as fast as we can. So you just got to hang in there, OK? If he's got something going on, the shop has to be open seven days a week. Hey, Rob, why don't you uh, just take that box out to the car? Right? Yeah. You know, you guys need a hand. I can have Manny come in, hook you guys up. Yeah, I think Rodney will just grab him on the way out. Hey, Eddie, uh, I need to talk to you about something. 
Look, I understand that Congressman Spangler is leaning on the cops to break up your business, and you need to protect yourself. Oh, I do. But I'm not worried about the congressman. Why not? Because I'm going to take care of him. You're going to take care of him? Why do you look so shocked, Lance? Don't you know I can't afford to have any interferences in my business? But you're, you're not serious. Oh, I'm not? I, it just seems like it's a big risk you'd be taking. I wouldn't worry about it, Lance. I'm a big boy. I can handle myself. <laughs>